Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, we want so, um, in the paradigm of under the status quo, trying to keep the uh, trying to keep the world peace and trying to make the fair relationship between the developing country and developed country. It is not okay to make any differences between between the, uh, having the military bases and having the gi uh, giving the right to the, the giving the right to the. Um, military power, um, super uh, super military power to only the limited limited con country, and it doesn't make any any uh, any be better thing in better thing in the uh, um, to keep the to keep the world peace. So we want to keep our stance is very simple. We want to keep the world power by giving uh, every right again uh, every country to the all co to the. To, uh, uh, every country to have the right of nuclear power. Before going on to our definition, uh, our argument, let me define what this motion will be. First, every country can have a world uh, can have a nuclear weapon. Second, after taking this plan, it is okay to sell and buy nuclear weapon. So developing countries can still buy the nuclear weapon. And third, even if they have right to all countries can have can still have forum can should have a forum not to use nuclear weapon, which means that countries Countries should have obliga obligation to protect nuclear weapon as well as the right to the right to have the nuclear weapon. So moving on to our argument, uh, I have I have two arguments. First, why this is why this is uh, why this is a um, we a uh, why military. We want to achieve world peace to every other country. And second, why this is the only way to achieve the world peace. Okay, moving on to our first argument. In the under the status quo, that even even though even as I told you in the introduction, even though the if, even though the countries try to ha uh, con countries are saying that oh we want to have a developing country and developed country in a fair 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 uh, and a fair relationship and we want to we want to achieve the fairness uh, we want to achieve the fairness however this this cannot be achieved because military power is different why this why this military power is so important mr speaker because military power actually kills the people they have they have they get they are giving the actual harms to every individual so so, so, so under the status quo, because some countries have the have some countries have the have the nuclear power, have the nuclear power. They are um, uh, countries don't have the nuclear power. Ha have uh, um, have a have a kind of scare scariness to the uh, to the international relationships. Um, no, sorry, but um, okay. For example, South Korea is fond of America because with uh, because without America because because without America having the nuclear power, the um, new South Korea uh, South Korea's uh, uh, South Korea's might gonna be attracted to the to the nuclear power of North Korea's which having and and this kind of and the, and because these kind of um and because of this America's military power, um, uh, South Korea is funding of everything to America's uh, everything to Americas and likewise likewise people people uh, countries which have the nuclear power uh, countries which don't have the nuclear power are fond of the nuclear po uh, fond of the countries to the nuclear power and why is this not okay because first of all this cannot be achieved the nuclear uh, this cannot be achieved the peace a peaceful world why a uh, peaceful world when the when the new, when the developing countries are to uh, to develop, uh, countries don't have the nuclear power try to try to achieve something to Try to make some some kind of suggestion to the countries to the ha which have the nuclear power, w which have the nuclear power can um I can't say anything about I can't say anything that is uh, that is really really uh, uh, can say anything about the uh, about some something complaints to the nuclear uh, some complaints to those kind of countries and it is not okay as I said uh, repeatedly that it is not okay to have a fair, uh, developing countries even though they are make they are making a fairness a fairness relationship but they actually they don't have a fairness relationship in a military base in, a, in developing countries and developed countries so these cannot so so having the all, all of these having all all of the nuclear power rights uh, uh, right, uh, give the right to have all uh, nuclear power to all countries is uh, is necessary. Okay, I take your point. Isn't it? Isn't there other way to have the equality or to have the power? To sorry. Okay, I still I, I say that there are a lot of ways like economic power or soft power or, or whatever else. However, the military power is still the 
still the biggest power because I said in the importance that because it gives the actual harms to it gives the actual harms to the individuals. It is killing people. So that's why military power is so important. And moving on to our second uh -huh. argument, I said that uh, uh, second argument. No, sorry. Why is this only way? You may you might you might think that okay, if the nuclear power is so dangerous, then why don't you why don't you get rid all of it all of it because it's not feasible. It's it, it's not feasible feasible because. Um, for five countries already have nuclear uh, already have the right to have a nuclear power doesn't have incent any incentives to give the, uh, 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 to read up to get rid of all, all of the nuclear nuclear weapons that's why they are not going they, they are not going to tell take the uh, take take the take the take um, read read of all of the nuclear nuclear weapons uh, nuclear weapons. How, however, however, uh, we are uh, however this uh, this nuclear po power will be a deterrence power to the to the world peace. Why is that? Because because uh, because they are going to think about another country's military military weapons, which is the nuclear. After taking this plan, they are going to think about another country's military power. And if they uh, and 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 because military power uh, mili because nuclear power is so strong power they're going to they're going to make a negotiation before before taking an action because they already know that if the if this will be harmful to the uh, this uh, uh, when it when it explodes this will kill all of the people uh, the, this will kill a lot of people and so so there uh, so before going uh, so uh, so when it comes to negotiation because they're in the equal equal status in the in the new in the in the uh, what international relationship be, um, developing countries and developed countries have the same uh, have the same status and same uh, same equal status to say, to complain about to complain and suggest about the pro process the, uh, pro process and um, and, uh, and this is the deterrence power. They are. Uh, this is the deterrence power of the nuclear weapon. They are going to think once again before going on to before making a fun, uh, before making a uh, uh, before having a war and before having before having a conflict. And that is why we achieve the world power, a world peace. That is why we are very proud to propose. Thank you. <laughs>
power imbalance and all the equalities or so forth. Yeah. This is not going to happen even after Dignity's proposal because there are still economic power imbalance exists because there are still the po population level uh, po population um. Population level exists. There are still, like you know, you natural resource power, uh, power imbalance exists. So if you want to, do, uh, if you want to uh, prove to that goal that you know everyone has the same power, then like you know you have to provide like, all natural resources to everyone or all all everything. You have to make everything equal, and we don't think it's gonna happen. So the goal is not going to uh, sustain. Uh, no goal goal is not going to prove. So let me move on to my point. Under the status quo, we believe under the status quo. Uh, it's better. Uh, but what is nuclear power? Uh, we believe that nuclear power is something so dangerous, something that 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 require you to the special technology to manage or special technology to sustain that nuclear power. Right. So for this for those reasons, we believe that person or the country who are who have the right to possess the nuclear power is that like the case of P. P5, that you know, the country who have the rationality, maybe the country who reflect that, you know, reflect the citizens' yeah. voices, maybe democracy of the country who, who have the incentive to improve that national uh, national in, in, uh, relation or so forth, right? And the country who have the special special skill to make sure the safety of the nuclear weapon. So under the status quo, those kind of people are having the nuclear power, right? But and we say this is good. Why is that? We have to one reason why because. They have it. They possess the nuclear power. We say they are going. They are using this as the internal, um, as the benefit for the whole societies. Because they can use that power as a deterrence, right? Maybe those kind of co country who possess the nuclear power is from the UN or so forth. By those kind of com country having the power means that UN is having a power, right? So like you know, there are de deterrence for the other country or. De Dictators for them, like you know, because you know, if you did, if you, if you exploit someone, or if, if you did horrible things, then UN is come to you, and you know, stop. Do, are you by you using that power, they are going to stop that, uh, stop that abuse or so forth, right? So we say Point. under the status quo, nuclear power is being used beneficially for the society. Yes. Why US decision is always good, pretty okay. strength. Because the U.S. have the uh, UN, U, U, UN is that you know is there are many representatives in that countries, right? Maybe the you know China, Korea, or like all the country ha uh, have the votes to have the vote to decide that decision of the UN. So the UN decision we believe that is the representative, uh, re representative representing that you know whole whole society's benefit, right? So we say uh, this is okay. And um, secondly, after the against proposal, what's gonna happen is that. Our society is going to be extremely dangerous. Why is that? Because all country could have it, and there are two consequences. Firstly, the country, uh, maybe the uh, country is going to abuse the nuclear power. For example, if you imagine the North Korea having a nuclear power, Syria having a nuclear power, Uganda or you know Zimbabwe having a nuclear power, what? Who have the nuclear power? Is that in those dictator is going to have the nuclear power? Who just think about their own benefit? Who just think who do, doesn't care at all about the society? As a consequences, maybe they are going to abuse or they are going to so easily use that nuclear power. Right? Maybe they are just because they want more money or just because they want to exploit that uh, oil or so forth. They are going to use that nuclear power to kill or to fight with that with that you know poor African country or so forth. And secondly, uh. Secondly, we believe that after the new proposal, accidents happen. Ma many accidents happen because developing country ha does not have so much, uh, so much technology to sustain, or does not have so much money to sustain the nuclear power. We believe that you know, because the nuclear power itself is so <coughs> sensible, uh, has needs so many technology to sustain its its existence. We believe that because the developing country ha have the lack of the capacity to do so, that those kind of um, capacity to do so, we believe that. Um, many accidents is going to occur, and we say those kind of accidents it, it is irreversible, right? Because once you mistakenly use that nuclear power, then many people's life is being deprived, and we believe that life itself is some, not something that you could, you know, give it back uh, after the uh, after the de de regret or you know anything. And we say because the peace peace is very important, because the safety is very really important, because we don't want that. Uh, we don't want that those kind of you know selfish country to abuse the nuclear power. We believe that at uh, this point, uh, we believe we bet to oppose this motion. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What is the crucial theory is that they they cannot 
solve, they cannot create peace in the world. In the world, in the current situation, unfortunately, the small war is also okay. And sometimes it rises, and when they go to the uh, go and uh, train the and. Uh, Bomb to go to the bomb to the uh, Iran. Iran is creating a nuclear weapon and these kind of things also okay. After taking this proposal, deterrence power is maximized. No one has no incentive to use military US uh, to use a nuclear weapon. No one no have no incentive to do after attack other country. That is a true peace. We after taking this proposal, we can accomplish this kind of peace. That's why I like to propose. First, rebuttals. Uh, today, as a, I have uh, several rebuttals. First is about, as uh, they say, and after taking this proposal, and uh, some developing countries have a risk, uh, skillful. That's why uh, they cannot create a uh, nuclear weapon. But it is not true. As I was clearly defined, after taking this proposal, this kind of company can buy this kind of, uh, no thank you, this kind of material. And this, 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 this is uh, explained that they can uh, get the know how and they can make a no thank you, this kind, this kind of. Is uh, exists after taking this proposal. And next, is they say uh, they could totally misunderstanding as about the uh, United Nations. No, thank you. The, when the ne, when the UN the got military intervention, they this kind is decided in the uh, Security Council, and they totally misunderstand. And Security Council is controlled by the uh, China and China and Russia, and these kind of countries are using veto, and they this, they deny this uh, they deny, and it is not. Fair. They say UN is always unfair, but it is not true. In the uh, in the Security Council, the unfairness is exists. That's why their argument doesn't stand. And they say uh, also, also they say after taking this proposal, the accident occur. But after taking this proposal, no one have an incentive. No one have an incentive to occur the accident. No, thank you. After taking this proposal, as I said before, this kind of country gets the gets the uh, know how, gets the skill, and that's why they have a strong incentive to say to keep to keep stableness. They maximize the try. They maximize the try to the keep this kind of uh, fair uh, this kind of safety. That's why their argument is so unrealistic. And uh, today argument uh, next is argumentation. Today I have three arguments. The first is about how in the current situation we can stop a uh, differentiate the uh, It means the spread of so nuclear weapon. We cannot stop these kind of things. Uh, Secondly, I want to explain the how after taking this proposal, deterrence power work and effectiveness. As uh, I want to e explain the later. Uh, I, I want to explain, expand my partner's argument. Uh, please, no, thank you. The first is about how in the current situation stop, we cannot stop the as uh, spread the, the nuclear weapon. Uh, the, in the current situation, Israel and India have also created the nuclear weapon. It is sorry a harmful situation. Why? Because the power balance, power imbalance is all accelerate. Now, and the, for example, and the, in the not India, India have a, and this India have a nuclear weapon and this kind and this guy and the uh sorry uh, uh they, no thank you they can force this guy the other countries to around this uh, country. It is sorry a harmful uh, situation. In the current the, and we cannot and we cannot see and how to save this kind of spread it this guy this kind of uh, nuclear weapon. The, for example, in the it, Iran is a create Iran in the current situation creating new nu nu nuclear weapons. And Israel and the, want to stop these kind of things and they do military intervention. This kind of what what these kind of things is happen because the Israel in the current situation have no nuclear weapon. It, uh, Israel, Iran have no nuclear weapon in the current situation. Israel uh, don't want to and it, it don't want to Iran get to the uh, nuclear weapon. Why? Because and they they can't keep their power they, in the uh, Middle East. That's why and Israel did adapt this kind of thing. But after taking this proposal, deterrence power is okay. I want to explain uh, this kind of point. Second point is how after taking this proposal, deterrence power is work. Uh, after taking this proposal, for example, Israel don't go to the attack Iran. Iran. Why? Because once the Israel and the Prime Minister put Putin and you the, and the missiles go to the Iran, Iran and the Iran is the people die. And suddenly the Iran government also put Putin and this kind of uh, Israel person is also die. That's why after taking this proposal, the once no thank you, you put the uh, you, you go on Putin, it is. Directly killing you. It's a sorry harmful situation. In the current situation, that we in the current in the, this kind of situation, no one have an incentive to use new nuclear weapons. And also, it is sorry beneficial. And meet, no one have an incentive to military uh, intervention. Why? Because once you, uh, for example, and for example, and 
and in, in uh, Indonesia is go to East Higashi Mall, and there's so power imbalance, and that's why Indonesia is can go to the uh, uh, Higashi Mall. But uh, after taking this proposal, uh, after taking this proposal, even if in India go, if India have uh, India cannot go, cannot do military intervention. Why? Because once the Indi Indonesia go to the uh, 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 East Mall, the East Mall can also using the nuclear weapon. Same thing is occurred, so big deterrence. Once you attack other country, you will die. You will die. It is so harmful harmful situation. That's why after taking this proposal and so big deterrence power occur, every country, every man, that is so beneficial. You, we can after taking this proposal keep the peace. Uh, keep the peace. It is story as a beneficial as a point. Uh, finally, I want to explain. No, thank you. Uh, finally, I want to explain why in the current, why the all abolish all nuclear power, all nuclear uh, weapon is so unrealistic. Why? Because and uh, we can. No one can. No one can and uh, can and uh, find and uh, who want who. Uh, uh, many countries have an incentive to the hide these kind of weapon. And uh, after even if uh, they say. Uh, or, they may say uh, there's an alternative way to abolish nuclear weapon, but these kind of things uh, are sorry unrealistic. Once uh, they have uh, the find this kind of nuclear weapon, and this kind, of we c uh, even if we cannot uh, find this kind of country, th this country uh, can use military uh, can use the nuclear weapon. So and in the one country, it is sorry harmful situation. This kind of company can and the consequence can control uh, the worldwide. It is sorry harmful situation. That's why and. Uh, Abolish nuclear power plant is a sorry, unrealistic, sorry, harmful as a proposal. They, they may say these kind of, kind of things. After taking this proposal, we can uh, give the nuclear power, power nuclear uh, military power. And they say, and uh, there's many other power, but the military power is a uh, fundamentally important. Why? Because it is directly connected to the life. Life is uh, absolutely important to so all the people. That's why we, these many people prioritize these kind of things. That's why this portion is a story every time I have to propose. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ma and Mr. Chair and ladies and gentlemen in this house. Uh, we believe that this motion uh, is deprives the, the, the national security in all over the uh, world because you know the after taking proposal, what's gonna happen? Uh, we uh, we believe that the, uh, the, the, the we believe that so, uh, so the war or battle is uh, maybe happen. Uh, because of both, all the country have the, uh, the, the uh, weapon and it's very uh, potential, uh, high possible to uh, bomb, bomb the bomb the, the those difficult to bomb the country, uh, bomb the bomb in the uh, in the uh, in the world. So, so we believe that those problems happen. It is maybe awkward, but we believe that uh, under the status quo is uh, more uh, more safer way to we believe we live in <coughs> we live in the world. So we are very happy to propose. Uh, I have many. Uh, I have uh, uh, before we my extend my previous as uh, my partner. Please uh, revert, some rebuttal to the previous speaker. Uh, I talk one by one. Firstly, uh, you know, the previous speaker said that the UN decision is not fair, but but uh, UN is not fair, but but we, we, we don't think so because you know uh, under the status quo, the U, the U under the status quo is a, is a more better uh, place to be discuss a decision in the world because you know in UN you know some uh, you know even if the some uh, you know the uh, but uh, some battle between the uh, China or uh, such battle discussion China uh, and uh, China or America or is occur you know some uh, some talking is uh, must occur because uh, you know the the they are the place in the UNS because the UN is a place to talk with uh, with with uh, some various countries you know you know even if they are some uh, against the position, they, 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 they must talk in the UN place. But after taking proposal, what's going to happen? You know, the, the all the nations have the nuclear power. So, so they have they have no less incentive. They don't talk uh, with those uh, the, those other countries because Point. no thank you because uh, you know the, those each country have the uh, nuclear weapon. So they have so uh, so so they are 
あえず、そう、ゼアハブノーインセンティブとトークアビルそう、ゼアハブノーニーズ、ビビルズ、ゼアハブノー、アサテキングローズ、ユーユーエン、ドンツニーズ、ユーエン、ニーザ、ユーエン、ドーズンズ、スタンダート。
after the Higgs proposal is that case is that something similar to the Cold War? Because you know there are U.S. and uh, USSR having the nuclear power, and because there are deterrents. Yes, they did not. They didn't do nothing. But you know, there are, this was not the peace, right? If, uh, even though they did nothing, you know, by fighting or so forth, because you know uh, there are fear all over the world. There are fear that you, your life might be destroyed by you know by one push of the nuclear power or so forth. We say those kind of peace. What the government side is talking about is not the peace, and we believe. Uh, um, we say that because nuclear power is extremely dangerous, because we say after the Higgs proposal, many countries is going to abuse the power and safety net is go not going to be guaranteed. That's why we beg to oppose this motion. So we believe there are two questions in this debate. First of all, whether the problem exists or not. And secondly, about after the Higgs proposal, whether uh, whether peace is going to be uh, achieved or not. So let me explain it one by one. First of all, problem. So what the government side is saying is this this is that you know there are problem exists because there are power imbalance right the poor country or you know the country who doesn't have the nuclear power is being uh, exploited we say yes uh, this might be but you know there are this is not that extreme case this is not the extreme extreme case because you know there are other ways for you to fight back to the country right as i explained to you before there are economic power or there is nuclear nu uh, natural natural resources or something that you could uh, you could provide to to be to be smarter than the nuclear power and so forth right? because you know without the uh, without the uh, natural resources those kind of uh, country the US or something is going to be suffer right because even though you don't have you have the nuclear power if you don't have the oil then you could not make any product or so forth so we say that nuclear and uh, natural resources is like you know something that you could provide as a power and we say uh, um, so the problem does not exist and after, after the this proposal so we believe that they say that equality is going to be achieved because everyone is going to have the nuclear power. Firstly, the goal is never be achieved because even you provide all the nuclear resources and nuclear power to everyone, it doesn't mean that all, all the circumstance is going to be equal. Right? As I said before, there are you know resource difference, there are population difference, there are economic difference exists, right? Just because you provide all nuclear power to everyone, it doesn't mean that you are going to achieve that goal, your goal, the equality. Since they they post to you the goal is to achieve the equality and they fail to explain how the equality is going to be uh, achieved we say we are superior than them and and what the uh, and secondly uh, uh, what we provide you after the proposal how harmful it is is that two things firstly there are chances that you know dictator or there are chances that country is going to abuse that power right because you know uh, and they say there's no incentive for them to do that but there is no logic coming from this and we say you know those kind of dictator does not care anything about you know social uh, benefit of the social interest or so forth as a consequences there are so many incentives to use use that nuclear power to f to fear the other country or to exploit other country or so forth and secondly they say uh Secondly, the safety net is not being guaranteed, right? Uh, they say there are incentives for the uh, country to keep that, uh, keep that, keep it safe. But as my partner told you, even though you have the incentive, if you don't have the technology, if you don't have the money, if you don't have some skill to sustain the nuclear power, if just because you have the incentive, that it doesn't mean that you could make sure the safety net is exists, right? So as a consequence, maybe a developing country who have the nuclear power is going to mistakenly, you know, ex uh, mistakenly uh mis mistake may happen as a consequence many people is going to suffer what was about in this debate was uh, the fairness of the nuclear power we say nuclear power is not something the government is thinking about nuclear power nuclear m nuclear power is something that could destroy whole the world right this is so extremely dangerous if you think about the case of japan uh I even this was like you know so long times ago, we are still suffering from the fear of the nuclear power. We are so still suffering from the effect of the nuclear power. We say because the nuclear power is extremely dangerous, we we want to make sure that come, we are not going to abuse it and safety. That's why we to oppose this motion. Thank you. Is that they didn't give any suggestion to achieve world peace, and they didn't. They over. What they're talking about the world peace is that world order actually, and it's it, it's the only the perspective from the developed country, only the perspective of the P5 countries that we are we are keeping world world peace. We are keeping we are keeping a very, uh, But actually, look at the look at look at the under the status quo. Under the status quo, uh, but, uh, uh, not um uh, not um. Uh, countries that don't have the that don't have the nuclear power actually cannot make any suggestions.
suggestion to the P5 countries actually cannot make any uh, achievements to their countries, which and they are they they are only care about the P5 countries like feelings, and we don't think that this is this is uh, this is. Uh, this is fair case. This is not the this is not the start of the world peace, which which I suggested that it starts from the equal s status, which will be achieved by the deterrence power of nuclear weapon. So I have found the two, um, and they say that they say that this is a quote. Um, uh, okay, I'll talk about the with my clutch points. Okay, I have found the two clutch points. First, the world. Uh, it, oh, do we have any problems? World peace, yeah. And then second, do we have uh, any changes in under the status quo and after this plan, uh, after taking this plan? Okay, moving on to the first, uh, first ar argument. Yeah, I ha I have told you that they they didn't give any suggestion of achieving world peace. They agreed that there is a problem, there is some problem in world peace, but they didn't give any proposal proposal of what is problem, what is the actual problem. They didn't illustrate of what is the actual problem in world uh, in international relations. And moreover, how they didn't make how to tackle down the problems. They just denied the what what is the problem. They just denied the under the status problem. And that what what they're talking about. Uh, I have so I. I have told you that overall, what they talk, what they are talking about under the status quo benefits is world, world, uh, is, is world, world peace, but it's not. It's a world order from the from the P5 countries, P5 countries. I have told you about the world peace, uh, uh, repeated and repeatedly. That, but it starts from the equal, uh, equal status. My partner and I illustrated how how the deterrence power would work in the world or world order, and this. How do you, uh, and by by giving the ability uh, and we we illustrated how 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 big impacts that does the military power actually have? A military power has has a direct impact onto the part of onto the people's life. They uh, when the, when the war 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 occurs, people uh, people are going to die. People or go people or are, are going to have. Um, uh, people, people will get direct harms. That is why military power is so important. Important, but they didn't. Uh, they, uh, but the failure of, uh, but they didn't prove why the why besides the world besides the military power they didn't uh, they didn't um, exemplify what kind of powers do, 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 do we really have economic power smart power I already agree that there is a military uh, there is a there there would be a smart soft power there would be a like what economic power but I said that military power is much more important in uh, to achieve the nuclear uh, to achieve the world peace and this is totally re direct, directly related to the nuclear power and under the status quo well, um, under the status quo, after taking this plan, after taking this plan, we are going to have the deterrence power. And there, uh, there are well, they made an examples of cold, cold war, but at last, cold war ended up not using nuclear power. They just uh, uh, not using uh, uh, nuclear power, not using nuclear, but they just made a, a few, uh, uh, several, several negotiations. Even if they cannot. Even if, even if they, they achieve not achieving like, and uh, we didn't achieve anything by the Cold War, they still have chance to make world peace proposals. They still have the chance to make a wor world equal status, and they still have the chance to announce to the those kind of P5 countries. That's what we are talking about. That's what we are talking talking about that we have to ha we have to give the rights to the all co all the countries should announce the uh, equal equal opinions to the to the to those P5 countries. That's we that's we how we achieve the world peace. So we want. Thank you.